Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie to enjoy a fun-filled day at the water park. Caillou was being a good older brother and was teaching Rosie how to swim. Okay, Rosie. All you have to do is kick your legs really fast, like this. Now you try. Great job, Rosie. Caillou, you're a very good teacher. Look, those children are fighting a pirate ship. Looks like they could use your help, Caillou. Captain Caillou to the rescue! Hold on, Caillou. You need to put some sunscreen on first. But I want to go and battle the pirates. You won't be able to fight the pirates if you get a sunburn. Okay, Mommy. But hurry! We can't let the pirates take over the water park! Ah, it's cold! Hold still, Caillou! Perfect! <laughs> what? <laughs> Meow! Mommy! I can't fight the pirates looking like this! They'll laugh at me! Oh, okay, Captain Caillou. Come here. There. Now you're ready to go and save the day. Come on, Rosie. Let's go sink the pirate ship. Ready? Aim. Fire! Yar, Meiji! <gasps> Watch out, Caillou. The pirates are fighting back. Don't worry. I'll get him. Arman overboard! Whoa, oh, we, we did, did it! it. Yay. Yay! We did it, Rosie! We stopped the pirates from taking over the water park! Yar! <laughs> After all that excitement, I bet you two could do with a rest. How about we take a ride down the lazy river? That sounds like fun. This is very relaxing. It's a bit slow. Can it go any faster? Why don't we have a race to that palm tree, Caillou? Okay. Here I come, Caillou! Whoa! Whoa! I did it! I won! Well done, Caillou! Why is the line moving so slowly? Be patient, Caillou. This is the biggest slide at the water park. It'll be worth the wait. <gasps> the biggest? Can't we go on the second biggest slide? Don't worry, Caillou. There are two slides next to each other so we can go down together. Oh, okay. Are you ready, Mommy? I'm a little scared. Could you hold my hand? Of course, Mommy. I'll protect you. Okay. Three, two, one. Go! <laughs> See, Caillou, that wasn't so bad, was it? Thanks for holding my hand, Caillou. You're very brave. That was splash-tastic! <laughs> Caillou is going swimming with Mommy and Daddy. Here we are, Caillou. Are you ready to practice your swimming? Caillou checked that he was wearing both his armbands. They would help him stay afloat. Yup! Caillou looked around and was very excited to see a slide leading right into the pool. Look, Mommy! A slide! Wait, Caillou! Caillou, you mustn't run at the pool. It can be very wet and you could slip and fall down. Look here. See? Rule number one, no running. Caillou wanted to be safe at the pool. Sorry, 
I just wanted to see the slide. It's okay, Caillou. Now, let's take a look. Caillou climbed up the ladder and sat at the top of the slide. Come on, Caillou! I'll be right here to catch you when you land in the pool. Caillou looked down at Mommy in the pool, but now he was up here, it looked an awfully long way to the bottom. I got too scared. It was a lot higher than I thought it would be. Never mind, Caillou. Let's go into the pool from the shallow end. Caillou climbed down the ladder into the pool to join Daddy. That water was just the right height for him to stand on the bottom. Better? Much better. Look, Mommy, I'm swimming! Very good, Caillou. How about you try to swim to Daddy? Caillou swam towards Daddy. That's it, Caillou. Just a little further. I made it all by myself! You certainly did. Caillou watched as Mommy swam under the water. He was very impressed. Ta-da! Caillou wanted to try and swim underwater too, but his armbands wouldn't let him sink. Caillou, you can't go underwater with your armbands on. Shall I hold on to them for you? Caillou wasn't ready to take off his armbands just yet. It's okay. I'll go under the water <laughs> another day. <laughs> hey, no running! Hi there. What's your name? Caillou! Hi, Caillou. I'm the lifeguard. My job is to make sure everyone is safe at the pool. If I see anyone being unsafe, I blow this whistle. I saw those children running over there. That's against the rules. That's right. And thank you for calling out to them. Caillou remembered what Daddy told him about running at the pool. If you run at the pool, you could slip and fall over. Exactly. Here. Now you can be a lifeguard, too. But only blow it if you see someone breaking the rules, okay? Caillou felt very proud to be a lifeguard. Say, have you tried the water slide yet? It's lots of fun. I tried, but I got scared. It's okay to be scared, but a brave lifeguard like you has nothing to worry about. Well... I guess I could have another try. Great. And don't worry, I'll be watching to make sure nothing unexpected happens. Caillou climbed up the ladder once more. It still looked a long way down. I'm here, Caillou. Caillou was ready. He counted to three and then pushed himself down the slide. One, two, Three! Oh, Caillou, you did it! What a brave lifeguard you are! That was amazing! Did you see the big splash I made? Can I do it again? Daddy, the pool rules said no grown-ups on the slide! Caillou was very happy. He would never be scared to go down the slide at the pool again. Theme parks were the most fun places in the world. This is going to be the best day ever! It was hard for Caillou to decide which ride he wanted to go on first. So Daddy suggested they try the roller coaster. You need to stand next to this measuring stick, Caillou. Why? We have to check if you're tall enough to go on the ride. Am I tall enough? Yep. Rosie wanted to go on the roller coaster too, but she was still too little. Don't worry, Rosie. There's lots of other fun rides you can go on. Ready, Caillou? Ready! <laughs> the roller coaster slowly began to move forwards. 
It went higher and higher and higher. We're getting really high. I know. We can see the whole park from up here. I'm scared, Daddy. Don't worry, Caillou. Here, hold my hand. The roller coaster was really fast. Ooh! <laughs> you could feel the wind blowing against his face as they zoomed around. <laughs> You were very brave. Caillou and Rosie found a great place for a photo. Look, Mommy! Rosie can go on the roller coaster after all! Wow! You look like you're going really fast! That's right, Rosie. Shall we have a go? Ready, Rosie? Here we go. Giddy up, Rosie. I'll race you to the finish line. Caillou had lots of fun on the big roller coaster, but he loved going on the carousel with Rosie and his family just as much. Today was a very exciting day for Caillou. He and his classmates had gone on a school trip to the aquarium. Keep close, everyone, and stay with your trip buddy. Wow! Caillou looked at all the fish in the tank. There were big ones and small ones, long ones and round ones, and fish in every color imaginable. Caillou thought it was amazing. <laughs> You're my favorite. Caillou, come on. You're going to miss it. Oops, sorry, I'm coming. Goodbye. Wow, this room is even bigger. It's like we're fish underwater. <laughs> it's starting. What is it? Caillou watched as a man swam around with the fish. He thought it looked like lots of fun. Wow. They said that the mask he's wearing helps him to breathe underwater. And the special shoes help him swim like a fish. <laughs> Caillou thought that swimming around with all the fish looked amazing. He imagined what it would be like. Hi there! Have you seen any treasure nearby? Thanks for the help! Look at all this treasure! <laughs> there you are! Caillou? Oh, uh, okay. Caillou loved finding the buried treasure, but he didn't understand why he had to wear the funny coat. 
Is everyone ready? You might get a little wet. It's time to meet our friend, the sea lion. That was amazing! It's lucky we had these coats. <laughs> hey, Sarah! I look just like a starfish! <laughs> Caillou loved being a scuba diver and seeing all of the fish, but he loved being a starfish even more. Today, Caillou was having a play date with Clementine. They were playing king and queen of the castle. Hello, I am King Caillou. What's your name? I'm Queen Clementine. It's nice to meet you, King Caillou. What are all those boxes for, Daddy? Mr. Daniels down the street is moving house, so we're letting him borrow these boxes. Caillou thought that the boxes looked like big building blocks. I know. How about we build our own castle? That's a great idea, Caillou. You can be the king, and I can be the queen. I'm going to build the walls. I'm going to build the tower. There, our castle is finished. Lower the drawbridge, Clem. Wow! This place is huge! Hello, Queen Clem! Hello, King Caillou! Shall we go to the top of the tower? We can see the whole kingdom from up there. Okay! Wow! We're so high up! From the top of the tower, King Caillou and Queen Clementine could see for miles around in every direction. It's so beautiful! This is the best kingdom ever! Let's go and sit on our thrones! As King Caillou and Queen Clementine entered the throne room, they were shocked to find that somebody was already sitting there. Hey! You can't sit there! Only a king or queen can sit on the throne! Me queen! Me queen! Oh! <laughs> it's you, Rosie! Rosie, you can't be the queen. Clementine is the queen. It's okay, Rosie. You can be the princess. There. Pretty. Oh no! The castle is under attack! It's a giant! Okay, playtime's over. We have to take these boxes to Mr. Daniels now. Oh, but we were playing king and queen. It's okay, King Caillou. I'll bring them back for you to play with once Mr. Daniels is finished with them. Yay! Caillou had loved being the king, and he couldn't wait to build another castle with his friends. Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie to their very first circus. Caillou was very excited. He couldn't wait for the show to begin. When is the circus going to start, Mommy? Very soon, Caillou. Get your popcorn! Get your cotton candy! Can I get a snack, please? Sure. What would you like? Caillou loved popcorn, but the cotton candy looked good, too. Both, please? Too much sugar is bad for you, Caillou. You can only have one. I can't choose one. I want both. Caillou.
you wish that he could eat popcorn and cotton candy for dinner instead? Why don't you have a mix of sweet and salted popcorn? That way, each one will be a surprise. That's a brilliant idea! Mmm! I got a sweet one! Thank you! The lights went down and Caillou saw a man in a tall hat standing in the middle of the tent. Who's that, Daddy? That's the ringmaster. He's in charge of the circus. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Magical Marvelous Circus. The first act will be the Clumsy Clowns. Everybody in the audience laughed when one of the clowns played a silly trick on Daddy. It was a pretend flower, Daddy! After the clowns had finished, it was time for the tumbling acrobats, who formed a pyramid in the middle of the ring. Caillou thought the person at the top must be very brave. Finally, came the plate spinners, who balanced plates on tall poles. Caillou was amazed. They didn't drop a single one. Can I be a plate spinner too, Mommy? Oh, yes. I'll get you some plastic ones to practice with on the way home. The circus had finished, and all the performers came out to take a bow. Caillou had loved every minute of it, but now that it was all over, he felt a little sad. Mommy, when we get home, will you help me make my own circus? Of course, Caillou. That sounds like lots of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Caillou's Magical Circus. For my first act, I'll need two assistants. Mommy and Daddy helped Caillou make a pyramid, just like the acrobats in the real circus. He felt very brave being at the top. Watch out, Caillou. Don't drop them. Caillou was very good at plate spinning. He didn't drop a single one though he might have had a little help from Mommy. <laughs> Caillou had something very special planned for his big finale. Be careful, Caillou. That bucket looks very heavy. <gasps> Put it down, Caillou. You could hurt yourself. Look out! Caillou, you tricked us. That was a very clever joke, Caillou. That was the best circus we've ever seen. Great job, Caillou. Caillou had lots of fun making his own circus, and he couldn't wait to show his new trick to all his friends. <laughs> <laughs>